Homeowners all over have started receiving notice of their new property value tax assessment. Some homeowners are seeing increases of 30% or more, which means that tax bill for next year is gonna go up. Why? We're gonna break down what's happening in the world of real estate as it concerns home value tax assessments. We're gonna get into detail about the process and how home values are determined. And believe it or not, there's actually some solutions. So stick around for that as well. Now, before we dive right in, my name is Luis Hawkins. I'm a real estate agent with Weston Main Homes. I've been born and raised in the Mile High City, and I would love to help you if you're thinking about relocating to the Mile High City, moving within the Mile High City. If you have questions or you just wanna talk about what's going on in the real estate market, all my contact info is down below. Feel free to reach out. Now let's dive right in. There are three things in life that are guaranteed. Life, death, and taxes. Taxes impact you as a homeowner in how much you pay in property taxes per year, as well as your neighborhood, like schools, development, sidewalks, things of that nature. What's happening right now is that because home values have spiked so much over the last few years, and again, remember, home values are assessed every two years, so it's been two years, and it just happened to fall within the two years where we saw massive gains in home prices. Because this is happening now, what we're seeing is that your home's value or assessed value is going up by 30% or more in some cases because of the home price appreciation. And now we gotta pay that increase in the taxes as well. But first, to fix the problem, we have to understand the problem. Today we're going to be talking about specifically Colorado, but these principles and processes are applicable for homeowners all over the country. All right, here's how it works. Every even numbered year, assessors will determine your home's value using factors such as location, size, style, condition, things like that. And they'll compare those things to the comparable homes in the area that have sold over a defined period. Once the assessors determine that value, what they do is they multiply it by the assessment rate, which is set state by state. And it's statewide here in Colorado, it's 7.15%. That means if your home's value is $100,000, just for easy numbers, your home's assessed value would be 7,150. Your property taxes are determined by taking the assessed value and multiplying that by the local mill levy, the tax rate. This changes from location to location, from county to county. Now again, let's talk about how this actually impacts you financially in your pocket. Let's understand your mortgage payment. So your mortgage payment is consists of four things, principal, interest, taxes, and insurance. If your tax bill at the end of the year is easy numbers, let's use $6,000. The way that that works is that $6,000 is divided by 12, in this case being $500, and that $500 is paid monthly as part of that PITI payment, the principal, interest, taxes, and insurance. So what this means is if your yearly tax bill is going up, then the monthly payment that you make, although your rate and your loan might be fixed, your monthly payment might be going up because of those taxes. Now that we understand how the process works, let's talk about what some possible solutions are to lower that tax bill. Now, before we get into these solutions and options, I want to be very, very clear. There is no way around taxes. Taxes, again, are one of those things that's going to be guaranteed. But what we are seeing is that in some situations, there are ways to go ahead and lower that yearly tax amount because of the way that the home values are assessed. Home values are assessed using complex algorithms and human input. And as we know, there's always human error and those complex algorithms don't account for every single detail of your situation. Now, one of the options for the tax bill is to go ahead and dispute or appeal your home's assessed value. It's actually quite easy to go ahead and do. You can go ahead and do that online with most counties, if not all, or the actual assessment notice does oftentimes have a section where you can fill out a dispute, your quick reason why, and actually mail it right back to the county. Now, disputing or appealing your home's value is your right as a tax taxpayer. So this is something that you don't necessarily have to put a reason as to why, but I do recommend that you do. Not only put a reason why, but actually put some specific comparable stats and data to go ahead and support your estimation of your home's value. This is where you can get with a real estate professional local to you that knows your area well, that can send you some comparable properties to go ahead and support your dispute or your appeal for a lower value. Find comps that are similar to your home in size, style, location, features, floor plan, as comparable as you can get to your exact home. Now you wanna make sure that you have good stats and data to dispute this. You don't wanna dispute it just because, just because you don't think it's fair. Uh, that's You need to have the data behind you to support that. And you also have to be very, very careful because you can actually increase your property's taxes by doing a dispute or an appeal. For example, if you recently finished your basement, but when the home was assessed, your 
basement was not finished, that can actually increase your property value because now with the finished basement, your home is worth more. Reach out to me, all my contact info is down below and we'll talk through whether it makes sense or it doesn't make sense for you to do it. And if it does, I'll provide you with the data in the comps to support that. Now, another possible solution here is there was a bill that was recently introduced that's gonna be voted on in November where property taxes would actually be lowered and lowered by substantially to help combat this problem. Essentially what they would be doing is they'd be taking $40,000 off of your assessed value just right off the top. On top of that, they'd be lowering the assessment rate. And in the initial numbers that they've ran, this is lowering that property tax bill by several hundred, if not a couple thousand. Now, again, this is gonna be voted on in November of 2023. So stay tuned and subscribe to this channel to find out what happens. And like the video while you're at it, why not? Taxes, you gotta love them, right? Ultimately though, they're necessary and they're crucial to having the society and the development that we have around us today. To be able to live the life in the beautiful city like Denver, this is necessary. Now again, the purpose of this video is if you think that there's been a mistake in your home's assessed value, you do have options. This is how you go ahead and do it. But the biggest thing is don't do it alone. Reach out to a real estate professional. Again, all my info is down below. I'm more than happy to help you not going to charge you to have this conversation. There's no cost for having this conversation. I just want to be able to help you in this situation. There are options, there are solutions, but most importantly, we need to stay educated on what's actually happening. Do your own research, talk with professionals like me, be educated, make the best decisions for yourself. This is all part of investing in home ownership. As always, please reach out so we can talk about how this affects you and your situation specifically. All my contact information is down below. And if you found this video useful, please hit that like button, please subscribe. There's gonna be more content like this for homeowners and for people interested in what's going on in the Denver Metro area. And if you know somebody who's going through this situation, send the video to them. They might find some, some value in this and they might save a couple hundred dollars. Thank you for watching and have a blessed day.